Hello, this is Herman. Welcome to another episode of Book Talks with Pet Pals of Librarians. This week we have a kitty cat. Uh, she belongs to a Brandy Edmonds, who is not a librarian, but she likes to read and she has a, a family member who is a librarian, so she will let her do it because, you know, we we needed a cat, okay? So she has a cute cat. The cat likes to read. It's going to do a foreign language. The cat speaks another language. So this should be very educational. If you um, want to learn something, you should probably get out your pencil and your paper and uh, take down some notes because they're going to teach you some things about... This cat's going to teach you some things about the foreign language. So I don't know which foreign language she's going to speak, but we will see in just a moment. And I think that you will um, enjoy um, learning a new language. So, um, so I guess we will go on and get started. And here she goes with her foreign language book talk. And what, what, what is that? I feel like something is hovering over my head why does that woman keep trying to grab me i'm not going anywhere i have never moved i don't move at all and she keeps thinking i'm going to run away i don't understand it please someone have a talk with her all right i need a little privacy okay all right well anyway without further ado here is the kitty cat that is owned by brandy edmonds a very pretty kitty cat and she's going to teach you some things about um books in a foreign language okay take it away meow 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 what oh i thought you wanted me to do the foreign language book talk Oh, oh, not in cat. Oh, 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 that's been, that's been nixed now. We're not doing the foreign language book talk. Oh, okay, well, I wish I'd known. Um, well, I guess, you know, I really was very qualified to do the foreign language book talk because I am, um, a foreign cat. You know, my breed is, well, I'm actually several breeds of foreign cat i'm 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 uh, kind of a you know cross between a lot of foreign cats like i uh, so, um, i've got a little mumba cross in me and a turkish van and arabian mao and Sumatran iris and uh, i don't know most people just call me a domestic short hair but Anyway, whatever. I don't have to do the foreign language. I'll just talk about my favorite cat books. Because I do have a lot of favorite cat books. Now, um, I've been reading for a long time, so I, I like older kid books. So most of my books are going to be for, like, kids, like, third grade and up. So, oh, let's see. What do I start with? Um, I like, um, it's like this cat. It's like this cat. That's the name of the book. It's by um, Emily Cheney um, Neville. She won a Newberry for that book, I think, in like a million years ago, like 1964 or something. Um, anyway, it's about a boy who uh, meets an old lady who likes to rescue cats, and and he um, he takes one of the cats home with him and. He kind of becomes his pal, and they have a lot of adventures and things together. So it's a good book. You you like it if you like cats. And, uh, let's see what else. Um, oh, I know Cat Wings. Cat Wings. It's kind of cool. It's by um, it's by uh, Ursula K. Le Guin. I I like it because it's um, yeah, you know, it's about cats that can fly. They have wings on their backs, like they grew sprout sprouted wings. Yeah, I, I, I itch back there a lot, but I hadn't sprouted any wings yet. So, uh, let's see, what else? Um, how about, uh, oh, I know, uh, the cat ate my gym suit. That's a good one. That one's, that one's a good one. It's a, kind of a, a, a book about a, a girl who, um, really, it's really not about cats. It's more about a girl who tries to have a justice 
an injustice reversed at school, like one of her teachers gets fired and she tries to get her job back and I don't really know what the cat's got to do with it. I don't think the cat actually ate her gym suit, but, um, you know, I picked it up because the cat was in the title. So, anyway, you can read it, see if you like it. I don't know. There's a lot of cat books. Um, I just, um, uh, I'll just stick with those three for right now. If you get those three read, you can come back and see me and I'll, uh, see what else I can find you. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get some foreign language books. Maybe... Do they have any, they have any books written in cat? I don't think I've ever seen any. Meow, 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 meow. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, it's, hey, it's been fun. Um, I, um, I'm glad I got to come and talk to you about books because I really do like them. I like to read, so I'm pretty smart. You know, it's all those, those cat breeds, you know, you know Mumba Cross and, uh, Sumatran irises. We, we, we. We were big readers, yeah. So, anyway. Okay, whatever. I know you don't believe me, but it's okay. Look it up. Look it up if you don't believe me. There is a such thing as a mumba cross. I'm not sure it's a cat, but anyway. All right, guys. Well, I guess I'll go on. I got stuff to do and things to lick and that kind of thing. So, good to, um, good to be talking with you, meowing with you. Thanks for letting me pop in. All right. Hey, come back see another pet pals of librarians or book talks and what is it called again oh yeah book talks of pet pals of librarians that's a ridiculous title you need to work on that yeah mumba cross yeah that's what it is anyway so long folks been fun all right see you later bye <laughs>